10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Okay, not switching gun range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you can see, Falcon 9 has had a successful liftoff from Pad 39A. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down and we'll throttle back up just in a second for preparation for Max-Q. Max-Q stands for Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure, which are the highest stresses that the vehicle will see during ascent. Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. Now coming up in about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. This is where the second stage will separate from the first stage, with stage one making its way back down to earth for landing, and stage two kicking off that third event that I mentioned, which is SES-1 or the second engine, engine start one. This is where the MVAC engine will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. <laughs> Expecting Miko to occur in about 30 seconds. Successful Miko, successful stage step, and it appears we have reignited or ignited that second stage engine for SES-1. Now we're just a few seconds from fairing deploy. Again, this fairing has flown before on a previous mission. These grid fins are opening up. Fairing separation confirmed. And we have fairing separation. We have successfully reused this fairing. Now those halves are making their way back down to the sea where hopefully we can scoop them up. <laughs> 